Hi, this is Mark with QuixVenture.com. In this video, we're going to be creating a USB thumb drive preloaded with the Crystalbuntu image from STMLabs.com. Crystalbuntu is a Ubuntu image that also includes the drivers for a Broadcom Crystal HD decoder board, and it also has the XBMC software preloaded. This will allow you to run Ubuntu on your first generation Apple TV and take advantage of the Broadcom decoder board while using XBMC as your front end interface. To start creating your USB thumb drive, go to stmlabs.com and click on the Projects tab. You should probably also click on the Donate tab to give Sam a token of your appreciation because this is really nice software and he does it for free. Once you're on the Projects tab, scroll down to the Crystal HD for Apple TV project and click the link to the project page itself. Read the project page to get an idea of exactly what's going on behind the scenes, and then scroll down to the download section and click the link for Windows. Save the file. It's pretty small, about one and a half megabytes. Then go to your downloads folder and extract the zip file. The file itself is crystalhd underscore win dot zip, and it'll create a folder crystalhd underscore win. Inside that folder are a few files, and the one that you want is partitioner.exe. Double-click it, and that will start the application that will create your thumb drive. You're going to leave all of the default options, and then select the thumb drive that you've got installed in your computer. You need a 4GB thumb drive, and I found the cheaper ones work better than the more expensive ones. If you don't see your thumb drive listed, make sure it's plugged in and formatted. If you still don't see it, get a new thumb drive. Click Go, and that's going to start the application downloading the image file itself. The image is 530 megabytes and has to be downloaded from the internet every time you create a thumb drive. As you're downloading, you can see your progress by seeing how big image.img.gz is. Refresh your Explorer page, and when it gets up to 530 megabytes, you're done. The application will download the image, and then it will install the image onto the thumb drive. Downloading takes 15 minutes or so, and installation onto the thumb drive takes another 15 or 20 minutes. So, when you're all done, you'll see a congratulations message. Click OK, pull out the thumb drive, and put it in the back of your Apple TV. Uh, if you would like to also remove the hard drive and fan from your Apple TV to create a perfectly silent Apple TV XBMC video player, go back to quicksventure.com and take a look at the guide. Thanks for watching.